WFNN. Headline News Update. Coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and currently we've got all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. The uh, fact that it's a sea of red down my left-hand panel, the Dow's off 173, S&P 58, NASDAQ 100, 317, that's nearly 2%. Russell 26, semis 52, Tranny's 236, New York Stock Exchange off 103, gold's off 16 bucks, silver 45 cents, light to be cruised down 83 pen, uh, pennies, natural gas is off a nickel out here. So uh, now the spot volatility is up 11%. So it's a one day rate of change above plus 10%. If coming into today's close, we still have anything above plus 10% would signal to you and I that we should, that we'd have a one day rate of change. What you'd be looking for specifically inside the ES mini, I'm gonna change uh, screens out here. Now, this is actually gonna show you the ETFs, but I'm gonna change this up for a moment because I just wanna show you really what to look for. Then we go back to those ETF charts. Now, what you're gonna be looking for if you have that one day rate of change is some kind of bottoming pattern, very much like inside the ES mini of what we have right now. Now, maybe we get that bottom now, maybe we don't, but you're looking for, for example, the best bottoms are the roads meant to indicator signals bottom. That's where price gets stretched uh, and gets stretched too much. You get that rubber band and you get that little snapback rally out here. So that's in place right now, but price is going to need to close above 46, it's called 4607, and then 4618, and then finally 4652 is where the counter trend rally should end. And if price closes above, it tells we've got much more rally to follow. So that's what you would be looking at going into today's close. Let's go ahead and spend a few minutes. We've got, we can't spend a few minutes. Let's spend about a minute looking at the um, ETF structures out here. So here you've got the Qs, the Spies, the Diamonds, and the IWM. If we take a look at the Qs, they're coming back and testing the bottom of its daily profile. Below that, it has support at the 373 area, 378. I take that back. The Spies trading below the center of a bearish structured profile. That's an indication to you and I that price may want to get back to 450.99. If we take a look at the Dow Diamonds, they're just testing its oscillator and change line. Its test is bullish. The price would need to close about 360.05 to at least suggest we go back to try to test those all-time highs. The IWM is potentially going to take out its TD9 count bottom. And if it does that, that tells us that it wants lower price. You've got to watch 213.15. A close below that today near 213.55 right now would say it wants lower price. Folks, stay tuned for the Power Trading Hour with your host, Dave White. He is up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock sharp for a wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. Take care.